It has already been a deadly weekend for voters in the Tennessee Valley with two people killed in voting accidents. That's where we begin. I'm Connor Board. Mike has the day off. Even with the dangers that come along with it, many families in the Valley are spending their Memorial Day on a boat. Our Kelly Kennedy talked to some voters today. Kelly, what are they doing to stay safe while out on the water? Connor, it's a popular day for families to take their boats out, but that can come with some risks. Boaters and Decatur say that you other boats the life and wave runners and just typically st stay away from everything. <laughs> the further you are away from everybody else, the safer you are. Like many drivers on the road, people tend to speed when out boating. One boater says it's important to be cautious in no wake zones. When it's so crowded, people make stupid mistakes just, uh, you know, doing donuts in the boats or flying in harbors, you know, over speed. There's no wake zone, don't need to be waking. There's already been two boating related deaths in the Tennessee Valley this weekend, and that's making people think twice before heading out on the water. It's real easy on the water to get hurt. You never know what you're going to run into, and it can happen real quick. 12 year old Christian Hart was killed Saturday night after tubing on Smith Lake, and 56 year old Jeremy Marks drowned the same day while riding a personal watercraft on the Tennessee River. In Alabama, it's required to have Coast Guard approved life jackets for each person on board. Once you're set with enough life jackets, you need to make sure they fit properly. A life jacket should fit nice and snug. If you buy it here at Mama's Bait Shack, we'll hook you up and we'll fit you for one. And if you plan on jumping in the water, make sure the engine's turned off, the prop's not engaged, and uh, know your depth that you're swimming at. You know, you don't want to jump off a boat at two foot, you know, swan dive and break your neck or nothing. It's also important for you to go through a boating departure checklist before you take off. Putting the Valley First, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News. Thank you, Kelly.